Equidox. Bionics. Accessible PDF conversion. Reach. Everyone. Equidox training. Getting started. Begin. Log into your Equidox account using the email and password you set with your verification email. If you are using a Google account with Equidox you will use the sign in with Google button, and then choose the correct Google account. Equidox defaults to the documents page. In the upper right corner is a drop down box, showing your account name, with links to your profile, settings, and sign out. On the left is a menu. The first menu item is Documents. These can be sorted by imported date, modified date, title, owner, file name, and label. Then there is a search filter field and a label filter drop down box. Labels can be created and used to identify documents that are, for example, from different departments or belong to a specific web page. Typing a word in the search filter field will bring up a list of documents that contain your search term. The layer defaults to a list. By clicking the button at the right of the screen, you can choose a grid layout, and Equidox will change to a grid layout that displays the file thumbnail, the file name, the import date, any labels, and the person who imported the document. Switching back to the list layout by clicking the list button at the right displays the documents as a list. In this view, you have the additional option of adding labels, and choosing edit or delete buttons for each document. Choosing the import button from the left hand menu displays tabs for each option for importing documents, upload, and URLs. We will discuss importing documents in another lesson. Choosing the notifications item from the left hand menu displays notifications, primarily when documents have completed uploading. Choosing the settings item from the left hand menu takes you to settings. Here you can add and delete labels, edit groups, manage accounts, search, as well as add and manage CSS files, settings will also be covered in a later lesson. The help item in the left hand menu shows release notes, the user guide, and Equidox training videos. Release notes contain updated features, bug fixes, and new functionality. The user guide contains explanations of all features and elements of Equidox software. And you are already familiar with the training videos. The last item in the left hand menu is the sign out button. If your organization has a set number of permissible or concurrent users, it's a good idea to sign out when you are finished with your documents so you don't take up a slot someone else might need. For more information on using Equidox, visit the training video page, or see the user guide.